Welcome beautiful souls to this meditation with the Divine Goddess Hecate. Today we're going to be journeying with Hecate at the crossroads. Hecate is one of those beautiful goddesses who supports us during moments of transition, the spaces in between where we might be at a crossroads in our life where we might be in a liminal space. She's also one of the guides for the Shadowlands. And she is seen as one of the original witch energies and a triple goddess. There are so many ways we can call upon this beautiful goddess to support us in our journey. And today I was guided to share one of my favorite tools, one of my favorite meditations of working with this beautiful goddess energy. And that is as we journey into the crossroads at a point in your life where maybe you need some support to find the right path forward, to find the right answer. During this practice, we will be doing both a guided meditation and an energy activation. So I will be channeling high vibrational, high frequency energy into this transmission to support you on this journey for your highest and best good always. And you can use this practice anytime you feel that you need a little bit of support and guidance to make a decision in your life when you may feel a little bit in flux, when something might not be quite illuminated for you. So when you're ready, I invite you to find a comfortable place to land where you'll be the most surrendered for this practice, either laying down or sitting up, wherever you will be the most receptive to receive the guidance and the energy activation. And then simply begin to take a few deep breaths and begin to ground into this space. As you breathe in, allowing your being to be filled with light on the in-breath. And on the exhale, begin to feel roots coming down through the root chakra, down from your sacral bone, down into the core of the earth. With every exhale, feel those roots expanding down through the rubble, the dirt, Feeling the temperature change as the roots make their way down through the cool, cool moist soil. Down into the heat of the inner earth. All the way down to the center of the earth. Feeling yourself completely grounded. And just giving those roots a little tug. To really enforce the grounded energy and to activate the chakra system. Feeling yourself becoming more and more relaxed with every breath. Feeling yourself deepening your state of relaxation. Beginning to feel the body soften, open, relax. Beginning to feel the mind simply drift away.
breathe, soften, open, relax. And in your mind's eye, I invite you to begin to journey on a pathway and this may be a forest, maybe a crystalline path, you may see it as a bridge. Allow whatever arises to simply be present, trusting that it is perfect for your journey. As you walk along this path, noticing the colours, the textures, the scent, noticing how you feel as you journey further and further along this path. And as you walk, notice what comes to mind for where you're at in your life, feeling into any places, any thoughts where you feel like you are at a crossroads in your life, in your journey, just allowing them to simply arise in the mind. You may have a decision to make, a choice that seems a little bit harder, confusing, disconcerting. Just simply continue to walk as these thoughts come to mind. Noticing how you feel as each thought arises. Maybe you have one decision to make and there are multiple options, multiple outcomes. Just allow yourself to feel into it all. And as you continue walking along this path, just up ahead you notice the divine goddess Hecate standing in the centre of a crossroads. And your crossroads may be open paths or they may be door doorways, gateways, portals. And as you walk closer, you begin to feel Hecate's presence, feel her energy. As you journey to meet her and embrace the goddess Hecate, and as she stands before you, she asks what decision you have to make. 
and allow yourself to speak your truth, your absolute truth, your highest truth. And once you have told her everything you need to share, you invite Hecate to speak to you beyond each of these thresholds, behind the doors or along the pathway. is what your soul seeks. One path is harder. It will have more twists and turns. It will take you out of alignment, if even for a short time, but you will still reach your destination. The other path is filled with more light, it is easier, it is the more graceful, more highly aligned path. There is no right or wrong choice here, but there is a choice to be made. You know in your soul which pathway you need to take for your highest and best good, for your highest growth, to lead you to your soul's truest desires. Allow yourself to feel the path that is for the highest alignment light up for you. Feel it being illuminated, showing you the best path forward for your soul's highest journey. And as you see the path illuminated, you know that this is the path you need to take. And she invites you now to take the fiery torch from her hands and set the other path ablaze. There is no turning back. Allow yourself to burn the other option, the other path down, trusting in your soul's experience in the journey trusting that you have chosen the right path, knowing that there are always crossroads up ahead. As you feel the second path being lit ablaze in a fiery divine light, feel yourself burning away those timelines. Feel yourself burning away all of that old outdated energy that no longer serves your highest purpose. Watch that pathway completely burn until it is simply embers and ash. And then when you're ready, Hecate invites you to follow her along the path that you have chosen. As you walk, 
You feel her guiding you. She speaks to you from ancient times and your soul remembers this truth. The truth of who you have always been. The truth of what your soul is here to do. And she invites you to see that soul's truth unfolding in the path ahead, like a story playing out. And as you seek her sage guidance and counsel, asking what do you need to do to get to your soul's highest expression allow her to speak the next steps the next moments allow her to illuminate more of the path ahead And as that space before you becomes more and more illuminated, Hecate invites you to pause and turn to face her. You are safe to journey the rest of this path alone. But I ask you this, To follow your soul's calling, your soul's path. To follow your soul's truth no matter the cost. And allow her to speak any final words of wisdom before embracing you. And then allowing her to simply depart. And as you prepare yourself and steady yourself now, you begin to continue to walk along the path into your soul's highest expression, no matter the cost. Knowing that every step will be illuminated along the way, there is no need to fear. You have everything you need within you. And as you look down into your hands, you notice that Hecate has placed two items. One of them is a fire torch to help you illuminate the path yourself and to guide you in the darker spaces. And in the other hand, she has gifted you a key. And this key unlocks every door. Any door that you thought was closed to you, you have the key within your hand. Any cage that has surrounded you, you hold the key to release yourself. This is the key that unlocks it all. Knowing that you have everything you need within you and supporting you, continue walking down the path. Feeling yourself becoming expanded as you step boldly into your future self. Every step shifts your reality to your highest timeline. As you move beyond all time and space and journey into your highest reality, 
feel your soul expression as it lands there? How does it feel? Connect to the feeling. Allow yourself to receive any final guidance here. Anything you need to know to support you on this journey. And when you're ready, begin to bring yourself back through all time and space, bringing the information, the feelings, the experience with you as you travel back into this now moment, into this reality. Feeling yourself landing fully in the physical body and allowing everything that you have gathered on this journey to land with you. Feeling the information permeate the cells, feeling the guidance land where it needs to land. Feeling yourself shift and change and transmute to allow yourself to anchor this new vibration and your future self reality into this now moment. And as you begin to deepen the breath, bring to mind the guidance, bring to mind the choice, knowing that everything is working out for your highest and best good and that in this moment you can make the choice knowing that your soul is guiding you, that Hecate is guiding you, that you are fully supported in your choice. Feeling all of that energy land Allow it to permeate into every chakra, feeling every single cell, your light body, your entire being light up with this soul choice that you have made today, trusting in the journey. When you're ready, begin to deepen the breath even more and drawing the breath back down through the roots, all the way down into the core of the earth and breathing that energy all the way up through the roots, back up through the root chakra, all the way up to the crown, through the crown connecting to the source of light above and allow that light to begin to waterfall down over your whole being infusing you with divine light infusing your vision your path 
your future self with the most abundant light. When you're ready, taking three deep breaths and really feel yourself landing, anchoring, grounded in this space, feeling your body, wiggling your toes, connecting fully back into this present moment. And when you're ready, simply opening the eyes. just disconnecting my energy from this transmission and you may wish now to spend a few moments just journaling through what came up connecting to anything that you need to see just sitting with a frequency where you may choose to call Hecate and to work with her a little deeper whatever feels the most aligned for you and I hope that this transmission helps support you on this journey sending you the most divine love beautiful souls Satnam